just trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast. Today I want to discuss the three keys to communication. And before I get into the three keys, there's one vital point to understand, and this is that communication is ultimately about relationships. So when communicating with anyone, you must address three forms of engagement, being the mind, or the place of thinking, the heart, or the place of feeling, and the feet, or the place of action. And if you don't do this, you're going to really struggle with communicating with anyone. And so each of these three points of engagement tie directly to the three keys of communication, which are facts, feelings, and figures. Facts are the data and details that we're trying to either share with somebody or to get agreement on. Feelings are the emotions we are either experiencing or want the person that we're communicating with to experience. Figures are the symbols or images that help us connect with others. And I now want to break down the three key elements of communication that are tied to the three points of engagement in better detail. And the first being facts, which are the tangible part of your communication, and this is where you're trying to connect with the mind of the person. People are interested in facts, and if you show that you understand your relationships between the facts and the person that you're communicating with circumstances, what you're effectively doing for them is connecting the dots. Now there is one important thing to note though, with any conversation that's say less than 10 people, facts should not be the primary driver of communication. At this point, feelings are more important, which are the softer part of your communication, and this is where you should try to connect with the heart of who you're connecting with. No matter who you're communicating with, in order to do it effectively, you must be able to connect whatever you're discussing with whoever they are meaning connecting the story that you're sharing with their story of who they personally are. But always remember that simply making somebody feel something through your communication is never enough for them to truly take a form of action. And in order for them to take action, it assists to use figures, which is where you're establishing symbols, visuals, paradigms, or values that will help people translate their thoughts and feelings into these actions. What it comes down to is in some way you need to provide a figure that makes what you're discussing truly tangible so it's then clearly understood how action should be taken. The goal of most communication is to change a behavior or create some form of a response. And in order to do that, you must go through this process in order for them to take action. Understanding these three keys to communication and how they're tied to the points of engagement as well as the path to go down as you're communicating one-on-one, through a presentation, or however it may be, will assist you to leverage communication, speaking with excellence, as well as listening with excellence, and therefore assisting in establishing a life of significance. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag The More You Know and New Podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book, The More You Know. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we provide propel with podcasting through the more you know. I'm just trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast.